It may be a beautiful sunny day, but I've swapped my sunnies for a more interesting piece of face gear, Google Glass, one of only two devices available here in Europe at the moment. So it's all very, very exciting. Now, as some of you may know, Glass is designed to free data and information from your computer, your tablet, and your smartphone, and place that information directly in front of your face or at the top of your right eye to be more precise. Now, it goes without saying, Google Glass is hot property right now, but what's it like seeing the world through Google's eyes. Now before you set off, you'll need to make a few adjustments. So adjusting the screen to ensure it's in the optimum position and making sure the flexible armbands fit nice and snugly on your face. And then there are two ways to trigger it. Simply flick your head or tap the side and then you're ready to audibly command it. Now as some of you may have heard, we came very, very close to commanding Google Glass with the popular playground phrase, pew, pew, pew. Luckily for us, Google went with OK Glass. OK Glass, get directions to the closest bar. OK, so I've asked it for directions. What I'm being presented with now is a map in my top right field of vision. Interestingly, when I look to the left and look to the right, the visuals move where I move, where my head moves, which is probably for the best because you don't want to be tilting your head at a bizarre angle. You want everything to be as comfortable as possible. And that is what this application is allowing me to do. In fact, it's telling me now I need to turn left. Maps is definitely one of Google Glass's most impressive and useful functions. Being able to navigate a map hands-free will prove helpful and it really helps that the visuals are based on the way you're facing. Now, Google Glass hasn't been designed with all-day use in mind, so to conserve battery and avoid distraction, the display switches off, requiring you to wake it up with the aforementioned triggers. That's because the idea is that you turn glass on whenever you're after snippets of info, be it directions, sending a photo you've taken to your friends or sending a tweet. Its battery life can attest to that, lasting just under three hours of constant use. Glass is able to perform many tasks autonomously provided it's hooked up to any Bluetooth enabled Android phone and it uses its 3G data and GPS or local Wi-Fi to work. Now Glass works with the dedicated My Glass app which lets you do things like manage your contacts, set up Wi-Fi, change settings and add and turn apps on or off. Unfortunately for us we didn't have access to any apps like Twitter, Gmail and the New York Times but Google has created a beautifully basic experience that's easy to understand, quick to learn and a pleasure to use. It's also worth noting you won't be able to input commands directly from the app. But you can use the app to show off what you're seeing on the heads up display. Now we're big fans of the Google Now integration, so as Glass learns more about you, when you swipe backwards you'll be presented with cards like local weather, directions home or nearby places. It'll even tell you if you've got a meeting coming up. Swipe forward and this will bring up your activity timeline in chronological order. You'll find a trackpad on the right arm for scrolling through menus or other glass content. You tap it to make selections or hold down to trigger a Google search without the OK Glass command, which all proved very responsive during our time with it and is one of Glass's best features. Google what will dictate or show you the answer depending on the nature of your Google search. It speaks to you through your skull by transmitting sounds to your inner ear via bone conduction technology. And if you look carefully, you'll see a tiny image on the front of the display. While voice control is generally excellent, Glass is not always 100% accurate depending on pronunciation and word choice. So Get saying bar instead of pub, for example. The closest pub. Oh, the closest pop but speak clearly and you'll get the results you want. Interestingly, Google is trying to make voice searches more conversational, allowing you to use pronouns like hi, it or her, for example, when referring to a recent search subject. OK, Glass. Google, how old is Barack Obama? He's 51, born on August 1st, 1961. Who is his wife? Very clever, Michelle Obama. We already knew that, but Google Glass knew that, so that's very cool. It's also very cool asking Google to instantly translate a phrase for you. How do I say nice to meet you in Japanese? I'm gonna assume that's right, but the uh, results popped up pretty quickly. Okay, Glass, take a picture. 
Taking five megapixel snaps or shooting 720p video only takes a few seconds. Now this can be done either verbally or manually if you feel a bit silly using voice control in public or if it's noisy by simply tapping a small button to take a snap or holding down to shoot a video. And the ability to snap a photo the moment you see a good shot without having to grab your phone, load the camera and line up the shot is awesome. And the image quality is surprisingly sharp. So what's it like looking through the other side of the glass? Well, it's pretty freaking awesome. And that's only after a few hours and without access to its full range of features and apps. It feels strange at first, but overall it's pretty non-intrusive. And I eventually got used to having a small screen hovering above my field of vision. And it's more than suitable for reading text and viewing images, as long as it's in a comfortable position. You will look a little silly when looking at the display and people will stare and possibly point, which may induce feelings of self-consciousness, but who cares, you'll be too busy Busy, feeling awesome while taking pictures of stuff to post on Twitter. Google calls it the future of technology and it's certainly got the potential to be an incredible device. But whether Google Glass becomes a defining wearable of the decade remains to be seen. Rest assured, we'll bring you a full review of these futuristic sci-fi specs as soon as we can.